A lot of burger walking around, a lot of delicious burger walking around here. Hi there, I'm Dan Gibson of Grays and Angus Acres. Uh, we have a 500 acre uh, Black Angus, grass fed and finished Black Angus farm. So everything that's served at our restaurants currently came from Grays and Angus Acres. And we'll have a steer that will, at the end of about three years, have one very bad day at the end, just like the rest of us. We all have a bad day at the end. And how many burgers do you think you could get out of one cow? 700 burgers, roughly at Eagle Bridge Custom Meats, which is an animal welfare approved processing facility. They are unloaded there. They just go right into where they need to go to be processed and it happens and it's over. It is a retractable bolt gun. There is a knock and it's over. It will be gutted and hung and the hide will come off and it will be what you see in the typical meat locker cut down the middle and hung. They will take my beef and put it in a cooler for 14 to 21 days, so it is dry aged. They uh, then take it out and we'll cut that in half. And take half at a time and cut out the primals and move uh, everything else to the side and ultimately then cut off the, the bits that are left for ground and they'll take the whatever I want that time. Sometimes I add the sirloin into the ground or the chuck or the round. All of that will then be ground up. And it gets put in nice little cryovacking packages. They then blast freeze it so that it then travels until it's on your table, until you, you know, defrosted it and cooked it. Um, it travels frozen for safety. Our chefs do a really nice job seasoning the meat, but the meat itself has a flavor that doesn't exist in corn-fed beef. Um, it's a flavor that you're hardwired, I think, to enjoy because they're meant to eat grass and we're meant to eat them, so I, I literally think we're hardwired to enjoy that. So we think that we've overcome every single reason that you would not want to eat beef, except that you just don't like the flavor. Thank you.